Hi friends, we're gonna do a star art project today. Um, if you have blue paper, awesome. If you don't, you can make your own blue paper by using a white piece of paper and coloring it blue or using a white paper and painting it blue. I'm just gonna use this right now um, and then let's get started. Um, you're going to want a lighter blue. So if you need to color another lighter blue, that would be awesome. You can always just fold this in half. Cut it. I'm gonna flip this over and make this the lighter side. And then you can see how to color it. And I'm just using the flat side or the point side. And I'm just doing small parts. And then the small parts add up faster. Just like everyone can do a little bit and together we can accomplish a lot. You don't have to color the whole paper because you're gonna be cutting parts out, but color the majority of it because then you can use it for maybe other art projects or anything else. Okay, right. so we want to use both of these. We're going to, I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm going to draw like a swirl, like the wind. So that's, no, you can't see that. There's one. And then you're going to cut him out. Using a glue stick, not all the way up. Okay, we're going to get that blue paper or your blue watercolor, which now made my paper all wet. And you're gonna start to place it wherever you want. So I'm gonna pause the video so I can fidget with it and you can watch. So you just finished this part. So now you're going to do the other parts. You're gonna work on the stars. So you're gonna color this part all yellow and then we'll color this folded piece black. So now we're going to use either your color crayon, your watercolor, or your yellow or a combination of it all to make your stars. So I'm gonna first, we're doing like the starry night scene and so it's like a circle, there's a big circle. Most of the stars are mostly like circles. That's an easier shape to deal with, um, but you can always do a star. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Play with it. And maybe maybe I'll just take that and put that behind it. I 
that kind of looks cool. Um, let me show you how to do many circles at once or many stars. So take your paper, fold it, fold it. You can draw a circle. And then you can cut it up. And voila, you have a bunch of stars that you can put around. I'll put some around, spread it out. And, or if you want, you can do an actual star. So fold it. You can even just draw like that because you won't even see all those lines. So you can do a combination of that. You can have stars and circles if you want. I'm gonna play around with it and then I'm gonna glue them down and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now using your black, either black watercolor, black color crayon, you're going to make kind of like a city skyline. I'm gonna fold the paper in half so then I can get two and show you what it would look like differently. Um, yeah, it's gonna be backwards, but. buildings. It can be little houses, you can give them triangle tops, whatever you want. They're shadows. <clears throat> and then you're going to cut it out. I know you can't see that. I'm going to cut it out and then show you. And even if you drew something and then you change it as you go, that's totally fine too, because this is not what I drew. So the video cut out, I don't know, oopsie. So you can have it like that with the painted background, or you can have it with your color crayon background. There you go, or if you don't like this one, you can always use the other side and maybe you have a different one. Or mesh them together. You get to be the artist right now. So you get to pick what you like. And... Bye friends. <laughs>